Hey, BookTube. I almost started um, streaming this on Twitch because I pushed the wrong button. So that's not good. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about <clears throat> it's the holidays. People are traveling a lot. People are spending a lot of time in cars. People um, have spent way too much money on people for Christmas and all that fun stuff. Um, or maybe you just need an audiobook to listen to while you're in the shower doing the dishes or something. So, um, a lot of people, um, who I've talked to have like a thing that's kind of against LibriVox. They're like, oh, it's so unprofessional and da 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 whatevs, okay? Um, but I've been listening to a lot of LibriVox, um audiobooks lately and they're great um so i wanted to kind <clears> of <throat> show you through how um that is the weirdest text message i ever got i'm really sorry it's zoe okay so <clears throat> i just wanted to kind of walk you through this so when you get here Oh my gosh, Zoe. She's like in the next room. What, 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 what? Uh-oh. This is going to start playing. I got to pause it. You going to let me pause it? Okay. Man, this video is getting junkified. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, what I should do, just in case it does start playing, I'll just do this. Boom. Okay. So anyway. So you're here um, on LibriVox, and it says um, you could either read. Yeah, see, that's going to start playing now. <clears throat> um, you could either read, like volunteer to read, which is awesome. And I recommend anyone who has um, the inkling to want to do that to go ahead and do that. It's pretty great. Um, and... Um, or you could just listen and um, browse the catalog. You could listen to it on your computer, iPod, other mobile device, or burn onto a CD. And some of you were like, I don't know what all that's about. So um, this is mainly public domain stuff, and it's mainly public domain stuff in um, America. So um, if you live outside of America, it says to uh, make sure... Um, that it, the rights are okay to do this. So for those of you who like birds in nature, you could listen to that. And you're like, no shit, I know how to work a fucking website. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go to the catalog. <coughs> um, let's look at genre. Since we all know I'm a big genre snob. Uh, ooh, cr detective fiction. There's even erotica for those of you who are kind of naughty. Um, gothic fiction. Ooh, kind of digging this. I don't think I've gone um, too far into this. So let's see here. We have some. Doyle, uh, let's see, is there anything, ooh, a dinner date with Meredith, the hooded detective, that's actually pretty cool, I think I already have that though, um, let me see, there's a lot of Sherlock Holmes stuff in here, so if you want to get caught up on that, you can do that. Um, and they also have just, like, the stories. So, um, like, if you don't want, like, a whole, like, novel of something, but you just want to hear, like, a story, um, you could do that. And, in fact, I probably just, to make this easy, let's just go ahead and do that. So, let's say I want to know the story of... The 11, nope, that's not what I want. Let's go back a page. Where was that speckled band? Damn it. Why are you 
you not letting me do this? Um, Jesus, am I not allowed to go back to the first page? Here's some Edgar Wallace. Let's do this. <clears throat> because I do not have this, so might as well. So I go to download. Kaboom. It starts downloading. Let me see what kind of file it's going to be. Okay, it's going to be an MP3 zip. So this is good, because then I could show you how to... Because, like, a lot of people don't like doing this kind of stuff because when they have um, an mp3 it um, kind of sucks when you're trying to listen to a book because when you stop it um, and like come back to it it doesn't hold your place usually so I'm going to show you how to turn um, an mp3 into an audiobook using iTunes because that is something that, that you might need to know. Um, and we only have one minute remaining on this, so that's good. Okay, so I am going to do something really quick, and I hope it'll let me do it while I'm recording. Uh, wait, what is what am I looking for? A window capture. Uh Oh, I closed it, so it's not going to... Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so we're just waiting for it to download. No big whoop. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my darling. Do 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 Oh, I can just do it like that. That's fine. Okay, so here we have... Oh my gosh, I'm trying to do it on the thing. I'm so sorry. I, it, it's it's still relatively early here. Um, so when it's going to come in, it's going to come in um, like this. So how much time do we have left on this? 18 seconds. Okay. <clears throat> and it's a zip file, so you have to unpack the zip file. This sounds confusing, but it really, really isn't. Trust me. Like, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't steer you wrong, people. Okay. Decompressing zip file. Come on. I'm gonna have to edit a ton of this out because this is like really boring. But if you have any questions on how to do any of this, um, leave it down below. That was down below, for those of you who don't understand my French accent. Come on. Oh, this is mind numbing. Okay, and we have. Okay, I'm just going to take a little nap. Let me know when it opens. There we go. Okay, I wonder if I should do this too. Let me try this real quick. So we could, window, 
captured. Okay, so I can't actually show you that for some reason here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so all you have to do... Where are my downloads? Oh. All you have to do is... Drag this folder once you open the zip. And if you um, have a zip folder or whatnot, hang on, let me actually, I'm fucking this up left and right. Oh, shit. Okay. So as you can see up top, it says, okay, now it's going to start reading it, but I have the volume down, so no big whoop. Things are in the public domain. All right. <clears throat> So as you can see right here, I have the Angel of Terror Edgar Wallace. So I just took the folder, dropped it in my iTunes. Now, right now, it is an MP3, and um, all the files are MP3s, which is crap. Oh my god, there's like, what? 41 files. Okay. So what we do, you um, control click it and go to um, album info. Yes, we're editing these items and go to options. Now, right here where it says media kind, um, just drop that down and hit audiobook, and um, you're good to go with that. And Edgar Wallace, Angel of Terror. Okay, so it has the right author, the right title, which is important because a lot of times they don't. Um, and you hit OK, and then it's going to disappear from here. And so you're like, where did it go? So you scroll down here, go to audiobooks. Let's go to Edgar Wallace, Angel of Terror. And we have Angel of Terror in here. Now, um, one thing I want to do, because I like doing this, is to um, have my... Let's go to the Angel of Terror page. And that's kind of a nice picture. Download cover art. Oh, that's really nice of them to do that. So we download the cover art. Did we download the cover art or just open a thing? Okay, it just opened a thing. So we're going to right click, um, save image to downloads, and get the F out of here. We're going to go back to iTunes. <clears throat> and then I am going to right click on Angel of Terror again. Go to Audiobook Info. Edit Items. Go to Artwork. Add Artwork. This usually takes a second on this computer because it's doing like a thousand different things at once. I really... Um, I think I want a new, and you just click on it, and there it is. That looks great. I like it. So now it's processing to put that picture on all the chapters. Um, do ba do boop boop uh do ba do boop boop uh do ba do boop do uh uh uh. You're like, why are you making that noise? And I'm like, I don't know. Zoe don't like it when I do that either. Um, let's see. 
did it finish yet? Okay, it finished, so go there, come back, boom. <clears throat> you might have to like refresh the page by going to a different author and coming back. So now, when you have this, um, it's really easy to put it on your phone. Um, or you can just listen to it on your computer. But if you want to put it on your phone, like I do, I go to uh, my audiobooks and I'll just click Angel of Terror. And now that's going to be on my stuff. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to take some books off because I finished them. Finish that and I finish this. I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna take that off. That was great, by the way. Uh, Charge on Terrible, that's all good. Okay, where? Okay, I haven't read that, I haven't read that. Reading that now. My dog, I swear. All right, and then you just hit apply, and in like 30 hours, um, you'll have stuff on your phone. I don't want to back it up because I just want shit to get moving. So if you have a PC, um, you could still put iTunes on your computer and do all of this. Um, if you don't have iTunes, um, I really don't know because I have an iPhone and iTunes and a uh, MacBook. So I don't, like, I'm pretty much an Apple guy. So I don't know exactly how you would, um, what do you call it? Um, how you would do that on a phone but if you want to know I could probably figure it out in a couple minutes and um, do a video on that if you like as well now another video another video I would like to do is sometimes um, when you're on uh, LibriVox the books you want aren't there. Um, you can also try archive.org. Um, they have a lot of stuff, and they also have like radio dramas and stuff. Um, so that's cool. But even if you can't, like, here's the best example if you could find an audiobook on YouTube um, that is public domain and you have the rights for or whatever, um, but you can't find it on any other sites. Um, there is also a way to um, get that in audiobook form on your phone. And if you're interested in that as well, um, I could do a video on that because I do that quite a bit. So, um, and they're public domain. Like, no one's stealing from nobody here, okay? Um, so, I hope this was informative and helpful. And hopefully, um, in all of our travels over the next few weeks, um, we could get some good audiobook listening done. Bye, BookTube.